Hello and welcome to Sarah's Tarot. Here is your reading for Monday the 28th of January. Now, I have two decks for you to choose from. The They are both vintage decks. This is a vintage deck of Rider Waite, which I've had for many years. Um, but I bought them second hand, so they are quite old. They are one of the originals. And here I have the um, a very de vintage deck, which as far as I know, was, was, was made in 1970 in Switzerland. Um, and they were bought for me by my lovely son, Shaban, at Christmas. So thank you, Shaban, for that. Um, they're a lovely deck and um, very precious. So if you'd like to choose from uh, those two decks, I'll then shuffle the cards and we'll see what messages you have for this week? Okay, so for those of you drawn to set one, let's have a look at your messages. Okay, so as I said, this is a very vintage right away deck. And um, you'll see that the the images aren't quite as vibrant as the newer decks, but they're still lovely, regardless of that. I love the feel of the seventies tarot decks, you know, and the energy. So, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel. Please do so by clicking below and clicking on the little bell as well and then you'll be notified of any upcoming videos. Right, let's have a look then at what's coming up for you. We have the Six of Swords, the Death card, the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, oh, and the... Hermit card. And the five of wands. Okay. Right, well, let's have a look, shall we? Well, let's have a look at your bottom card as well. The ace of, ace of cups. Okay, and the ace of cups is all about love. It's about... Um, being open-handed, open-hearted, it's it's about new beginnings. And let's see how that pans out with the rest of the cards. Okay, so we have the um, Hello and welcome to Sarah's Tarot. Here is your weekly guidance um, for week beginning January the 28th. Okay, so I have two decks of cards here. They're both very vintage. This is the Rider Waite deck. One is the Rider Waite um, 70s deck, which I've had for quite some time. They were second hand when I bought these, so they are pretty old. And then I have this beautiful deck, um, which was made, as far as I know, in, the nine, in, in 1970. So um, that makes it um, oh, 49 years old. That's nearly 50 years old. So um, I, feel, I feel that perhaps this one is the oldest. Um, but anyway, this was bought for me by my lovely son, Shaban, at Christmas. Thank you, Shaban. I love this deck. I love the vintage vintage look. I love the vintage smell even, you know. It smells like an old bookshop <laughs> um, when you walk in uh, to a book, an old bookshop. That lovely smell that, that hits you. Okay, so let's have a look at deck one then. For those of you drawn to deck one. 
Okay, so let's give these cards a good shuffle. You might notice that the the colour the colour on the, on this deck is um, not as vibrant as the newer decks, but that's understandable. But um, the vintageness is is it more than makes up for that. So. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then you can do so below and click on the bell, please, to be notified of upcoming videos. Okay, let's see then what's coming up for you this week. For those of you drawn to this deck. Okay, let's have a look at your bottom card. Ah, oh, the Three of Swords. So there may be some sadness, some 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 crosswords this week for some of you. Um, something you appear to be upset about. Let's have a look at the other cards to see in what way um, that relates to this week, this week, and the week ahead. Okay, so the first card, the Chariot card. The Chariot card is a card of courage. It's a card of moving forward. And if you have been hurt, upset, disappointed by someone or something, then this indicates a need to be brave, a need to pick yourself up. And I feel you will be able to. I feel you will find strength that you didn't know you you had this week okay that's for those of you who are um, feeling upset or if you do encounter this week um, something that upsets you okay and it, it could just be you know um, something that someone says to you um, then realize that you you can rise above this because you have the chariot card all right um, and, and you, you know, you will get past it. You do have that ability. The Ace of Wands here um, indicates a new start. Okay. So it may be you're moving away from someone or something that has, has been upsetting you. Ready for this new start. Okay. Some of you. This could be for some people as well, um, an offer coming in of, an, of new work, you know, Um Whatever it is, you're moving moving forward now. You you know this 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 week indicates a a fresh start of some sort. Um, because you have this Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords can be quite an angry, volatile person. Maybe this is the person that's upset you, or is or does upset you this week. Maybe this is the person you want to move away from. Um, and it could be you will need to deal with someone who's a bit difficult this week, a bit fiery, a bit volatile. Um, and whoever that is, you know, it's about you being brave and um, standing your ground and believing in yourself as well. OK, try not to you know, try not to cow down to this person, whoever this is, but be bold, be strong Um and you will find the courage, okay? Um, no matter how fiery this person is, um, a, a lot of this is hot air, a lot of this, okay? Um, they have their own reasons deep down for, for being this way, this, this person. And this could be a partner, could be a, uh, it, could, it could be anyone in your environment, someone at home, it could be a, a child, you know, a, a teenager, um, but, it, you know, it may be someone who you come across when you're when you're shopping. You know, whoever it is, this difficult person can be can have a sort of uh, negative energy, and you're but you're pulling away, you're pulling away, and and they're kind of they're kind of it seems I feel whoever this is that that, that you experience this week, um, they want to break you down, but you you seem resolute and you're ready for this this sort of new start and no matter what this person does to upset you um, no matter what they say no matter what they do you have the ability to rise above it and you will 
Um, we have the Four of Pentacles here. And the Four of Pentacles indicates that you are sticking to your guns, all right? Um, it may be also that some of you are a little bit stubborn about something at the moment, feeling stubborn, digging your heels in, and this could be why this person's a little angry with you this week, okay? That's for some of you. You know, um, sometimes it, 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 we do need to be a bit flexible in order to um, calm things over. So, um, you know, if you feel you're being a bit too stubborn and you'll know deep down if that's the case, then maybe you need to look at whether um, there is an easier way of doing things, you know. Um, yeah, that's, that's for those of you who feel that you're a little bit uh, it sort of, um, being a little bit too um, stubborn you know it's one thing being determined which is shown in the chariot but uh, you know the chariot says you know stay determined stay grounded and and move forward but the four of pentacles is is, is is different in the sense that you know perhaps you're making things difficult when you don't need to um, so have a look at that this week um, there may be somewhere that you could sort of ease up a bit. And the Nine of Cups here is a lovely card. It's about hopes and dreams coming true. I feel some of you may be saving up for something at the moment. There's something that you want, something that you dream of having, and it, it means you will need to budget for this. So I feel that there's a, there's a financial aspect to this card this week. Okay. Um, so yeah so it's about budgeting but don't you know sometimes we can put too much pressure on ourselves you know you are allowed to enjoy yourself as well if you're saving up for that car that house that holiday don't take it to the extreme that you don't allow yourself any treats at all okay that's my advice to you here looking at those cards together and the queen of wands here she is um, Aries Leo or Sag um, in your outcome so by the end of the week, there is this assertive energy within you. Um, and it comes directly beneath the Knight of Swords, as you can see here. Um, so this is about you dealing with, with this head on, you know, whatever's going on this week that um, upsets the apple cart, shall we say. You, you're more than capable of dealing with it. And if, if this is not you, then this is someone in your environment who is an earth, uh, sorry, a fire energy who is going to stick up for you um stand by you your fire signs are very loyal and they will they will speak their mind and especially in defense of those who they feel need sticking up for so you may find someone is helping helping you along here is supporting you and as i say speaking up for you um this week now um i'm going to look at the angel answers cards now and see your angel answer for the week ahead dear angels what would you like us to know communicate clearly okay so you know if we look at this reading there is someone volatile in your environment you'll know who this is obviously it's different for everyone but you'll know who this is as you watch this reading. And if you don't, then you'll come across them throughout this week. Um, and obviously communication is the key here. So be clear, be assertive, just like the Queen of Wands. Say your piece. Say what's in your heart, all right? If they've upset you, tell them, let them know. But do so in a way that they can fully understand where you're coming from. But at the same time, you know, make it that, you, you know, once you've spoken your mind, leave it at that and try and smooth things over. Try not to make things any more difficult than they are um, with regard to this person. But stand your ground, you know, if you, if, and if you want a new beginning, if you want to, if there's something you want to do or somewhere you want to go, then stand your ground here this week okay be like this this lovely queen of wands do your own thing okay um don't let anyone hold you back 
but speak your mind, but do so in, a, in a, an assertive yet gentle way. And that is your reading for this week. I'm now going to look at deck two. Okay. So that's deck one put away there. Let's see deck two. Beautiful old deck. This is so old. Um, It feels so different to shuffle, but I love it. I love that vintageness. <laughs> Just love all things vintage. Things were made so differently then, weren't they? Back in the day. Okay. And if you would like to subscribe to the channel, then please do so. That's if you haven't already done so. And click on the bell as well to be notified of future videos. Oh. Okay, let's have a look then what this deck has in store for you. Now, this is all in French. <laughs> so it may take a little bit of working out what the cards actually are. This is the box that they come in. And I'm just going to check that first card. Yes, I have it now. Okay. Beautiful little box here, isn't it? Such a nice deck. Okay, so the first card is the world card. We then have the judgment card, the sun. We then have the ten, uh, sorry, three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so your first card, the World card, as you can see it here. You can see the, the, the different star signs portrayed within this card. Okay, rather interesting how they did these cards way back then. Um, now, the world card indicates um, a new cycle. A new chapter begins for you, especially with the judgment card. It's time to make some changes this week. For those of you drawn to this deck, it's time to take a good look at your life and decide where you want to go next. I feel as if you've started the new year um, leaving the old you behind and if you haven't then this is a, this is the week to do so okay because there's part of that old you that no longer satisfies you and as we're in a year three this is a good year to to focus on what makes you happy what gives you purpose in life because that's what i feel this week is about it's it's like a change within you a change of purpose okay so this is about you taking that next step and being brave, um, learning from what went on last year. Maybe last year had some harsh lessons, but then letting those lessons go and stepping forward as this new person. You know, in, sometimes we feel different, but we oppress or repress those feelings. And this, these cards, this combination of cards is asking you to step on through and express yourself, I feel. This is about expression. 
and tapping into who you are, what you want from life, okay? Don't hold back because you have this lovely sun card. Look at this beautiful little sun card. I can't speak French, unfortunately. La Solaire is my only attempt at that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, the sun card promises happiness. It, it, it shows that your life can improve once you let go of the old. Because, you know, sometimes we, we struggle to let go. So if there's anything you, you need to let go of, this is the week. This is a week to start thinking about doing that. And um, you know, sunny days are ahead. Okay, um, happiness is ahead. This is about finding your joy now. For some of you, there may be um, a desire to travel, to travel to warmer climes in some way. I feel as if you 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 want to get away. And, and maybe even leave this country behind you. And there may be thoughts of that this week. Um, perhaps you're thinking about visiting someone. But it's a new cycle. So some of you may be thinking about setting up home abroad somewhere. But for others, it's about leaving behind anything that, that, that no longer serves you. And moving forward to, to a happier times. We have this lovely three of pentacles here. So this is about you. Um, maybe getting together with someone or, 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 or a group of people this week and ha asking them for help and, and helping each other actually uh, to achieve whatever it is that you're thinking of starting or, or to, uh, to better yourself, shall we say, because I feel these two cards... It, is indicating that there is there is a desire to better yourself in some way, but you will need some help. So don't be shy. Ask. You know, express how you're feeling and be honest. If you do need help, there's there's, there's no shame in that. And the Two of Pentacles here is saying you know it's about balance. Um, by by asking for help, you know, two people, two brains are better than one, as they say, or two heads are better than one. Then maybe, maybe you can um, brainstorm with someone this this week as to how you're going to achieve these things. That you know, this desire, how you're going to fulfil your desires. That's where I feel very strongly this week. It's uh, it's just this need, this inner need to turn things around, to change things, to brighten your life. Um, and there we have the Ten of Pentacles. So it's about security. That's the final card, the outcome card. So the weekend ends in, 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 a, in a solid way. Okay. Did we look at the bottom card? We didn't. The Hanged Man. What a wonderful Hanged Man. I absolutely love these cards. The Hanged Man, as you can see here. Okay. So there are sort of, I feel for some of you drawn to this deck, they're... they're are some certain frustrations around you you know you do want to to move forward but things something is holding you holding you back holding and you're feeling a bit stuck um unable to do the things you want to do even though you have this desire but rest assured that when the hangman comes in it this this means that the the universe are kind of holding you stopping you for a moment so that you do the right thing um, because this overwhelming desire to, 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 to push forward is good, but you need to be doing, the, doing it in the right way at the right time. And when the right time comes, this hangman will disappear and doors will open up. And I don't think it's too, it's, it's, it, it will be, it's too far, far away before that happens. Um, but I feel that there's a financial aspect to this as well. Um, perhaps money is holding you back at the moment. Okay, and, and if it is, it's about budgeting and investing, maybe saving up, um, getting help. Maybe that's financial help you need. But uh, this week is, is basically focusing on um, your inner desires and your need to make certain changes and learn from last year. Whatever mistakes you made or whatever um, you need to leave behind, do so as you step into this is wonderful new you. And let's have a look now at your angel answers card. The angels, what would you like us to know this week? 
in relation to this reading. The answer is no here. So if you're tempted, if you're if you're tempted to um, do something that is completely irrational, the angels want you to to stop. Okay, which is why the hanged man has come in. So maybe this desire that you have at the moment to leave behind or to make certain changes, uh, whilst it's a good thing. And clearly will end, you know, the light is here at the end of this. Um, at the same time, the universe wants you to know, right now, um, you need to examine your plans, okay? Um, so take another look, because I feel as if the universe is saying, no, there's something else that's meant for you, so hold on a moment, okay? Hold your horses. And that is your reading for this week. If you'd like to order from me, you can do so in my link below. Have a wonderful week and I will see you again soon.